Well, boys and girls, thank you for being here today. Thank you for getting up on a cold morning and getting the car started and getting your mom and dad out and getting here. So we are so glad that you're here. Now, you know, you know that we are here today to celebrate a great American. What was that man's name? Martin Luther King Jr. And you have a day off school tomorrow, is that right? To celebrate him and just in memory of him. Now listen, did any of you get to see the little slideshow that was playing before we started the service? Did you know that 50, 60, 70 years ago and beyond, things were very sad in this country, very sad, that, that we tried to separate, we tried to segregate white people from black people or really any people of color, any other minorities. And back in those days, did you know that white kids went to one school and black kids went to another school? Is that the way you want to live? I don't think so. I would hope not. Is that the way Jesus would like this world to be? I don't think so. Now listen, Dr. King was a brave man that helped bring all people together. And that's why we celebrate him, because he was courageous. Now listen, when somebody is brave, sometimes other people begin to get brave too. They catch that courage. I want to tell you, not just about an adult, I want to tell you about a kid, a child, a little girl. Let's take a look at the screens here. Has anybody ever seen this picture? No. Mom and dads? How many remember this? This is Norman Rockwell's depiction of a little girl. You know what that girl's name is? Yeah. yeah. Ruby, Bridges. Ruby Bridges. Good. Let's say that together. Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges. Let me tell you why Ruby was courageous and brave. In those days, when they said that everybody was going to go to school together, there were some of the white people that said, no, no, we don't want our children to go to, to school with black children. And so they kept their children home. And then the black, the black families, they were intimidated. They were scared about sending their kids to school. So nobody went to school. But listen, nobody went except for, what's her name? Ruby, Ruby Bridges. She was brave enough every day to get up and to go to school there in New Orleans. And she was escorted. Can you see who's with her? These are federal marshals. And as they would escort her into the school each day, there would be people jeering and saying terrible things to her, sometimes even throwing things. But every day, Ruby was there. And a lot of America got their courage from this little girl. See, it's not just, it's not just adults. It's not just moms and dads that can be brave and courageous. Sometimes boys and girls can be courageous too. And you know what? Sometimes... Other people need you to stand up for them, to be there for them, to be there with them. Whether they're white, whether they're black, whether they're red, whatever, whatever their color is. And sometimes the people that need you are the people that nobody else will talk to, nobody else will associate with. Hopefully you'll be the ones that will stand with them and be their friends. All right? Do you think you can draw courage today from little Ruby Bridges, from Dr. Martin Luther King, from Jesus? Do you think you can live this way? Because boys and girls, sometimes we need to look to you to teach us as adults of how life was supposed to be. Let's pray. Will you bow your heads and fold your hands? And repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for courageous people. Not just adults, but even kids like Ruby Bridges and others that have helped make a difference in our world. Oh God, help me make a difference today. Amen.